Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. And this video will demonstrate how to gracefully shut down your Avaya Aura Conferencing 7 system. Please note that the following procedure is service affecting to any Avaya Aura Conferencing 7 users. To start this procedure, you'll want to log into the Avaya Aura Conferencing 7 Element Manager console, which is what you see I have open here on the screen. And from this console, you'll want to go to the left side of the screen and expand the tree that says Feature Server Elements. Essentially, to do a graceful shutdown of the Avaya Aura Conferencing system, what you'll need to do is shut down each of these Feature Server Elements in the reverse order that they appear. So what that means is starting from the bottom and working your way back towards the top of that list. What we're going to do then is start by expanding the web conferencing elements and specifically starting with the web conferencing server element which is the last in the list. Now in order to shut down any of these elements what you'll want to do is select the option under the tree that says NE maintenance that stands for network element maintenance. And in all cases what this does is pop up a small box that allows you to stop and start that service. So in the case of the web conferencing server, we're going to select the stop button, which is the red stop sign. And again, this would be service affecting to any users who are utilizing this web conferencing server. The way that you can tell that this is successfully shut down is the state will show you unavailable for the operational state. The link should show down. The admin, very important, should show offline. That is the state of a successfully shut down network element. So we can safe, safely close that web conferencing server box and now we can move on to the web conferencing management server and do the same thing. The next item there will be the media server and in my case I only have one media, ser media server. It is important to remember that if you have media servers distributed throughout your network that you would want to shut down all of those assuming we're shutting down your main element manager server. Then we'll do the same for the application server as well as the provisioning manager. Now in my case I'm shutting down a co-resident of IOR conferencing server so I don't have any personal agent managers but again if you did have a separate server running the provisioning manager and the personal agent manager you would also want to shut those services down as well. And then the last thing you'll want to shut down from the element manager here is the accounting manager service. Once the accounting manager is shut down, you're able to close this window. You do not want to shut down the element manager nor the database from the element manager console here. We're going to do that through the command line. So speaking of the command line, I have that open here. And you'll notice that I'm logged in as the NT app. ADM login. And first what I'm going to do here from the command line is run emstop.pl. The S is capitalized. This is a case sensitive command. And what this will do is shut down the element manager that's running on my Avaya Aura conferencing server. Now you'll notice there that the EM has been successfully stopped. And if I go back to my element manager window, my console window that I had open. I get a nice little pop-up there telling me that my connection has been lost. Now what I want to do is actually stop the database that's running on the server. And in order to do that, I need to be logged in as the NTSYS ADM or NT Sysadmin login. Once I'm logged in as that user, what I would do is run the stop DB command. Again, this is case sensitive. So you need a capital D and a capital B and this will prompt you for the NTSYS ADM user password. So you'll just re-enter that if you've recently logged in. And you'll notice that the StopDB begins its process of stopping the actual database running on the server. And it really doesn't take more than a few seconds to run, less than a minute, even on a large system. And there is a log generated as part of that shutdown in case you have issues shutting down the database. The very last thing you need to do before you actually shut down the server is run a stop rep. This is only applicable to systems that are duplicated, where you have a duplicated element manager and uh, an application server, which you see in my case I don't. 
which is why it shows that the service was not running. But now I'm ready to actually shut down the server. So what I'll do is actually, since this is a Linux server, I'll put it into what's known as the single user maintenance mode by running the shutdown command. And in order to do this, I do need to be logged in as the root user. So I'll SU over to the root user. And I'm just going to run shutdown and then specify now as the time. You can specify a delay if you'd like. And you can also specify whether or not to reboot after the shutdown by using the minus R option. In my case, I really just want to shut it down to the point where I can turn off the server. And at this point, you have successfully and gracefully shut down the Avaya Aura Conferencing 7 server. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.